is going on, fellow Bucksters? Once again, you guys already know because you clicked on today's video. My name's Bug, and I'm bringing you guys some full send content. For those of you guys tuning into the channel for your very first time today, definitely go down and hit the subscribe button with post notifications on. And of course, to all of you 155 million subscribers I have right now, Thank you guys so much for always tuning in. Um, you know what it's about. I don't even have to explain anything about today's video. You guys know what to expect. Man, has it been a minute since the old Cummins Turbo Diesel Beetle has gotten some love. I'm actually starting to get a rat's nest. Yes, that's correct, a rat's nest inside of my stack. I think we need to start this up and just kind of clear the spider webs out of the engine, I guess. Ever since I put the Cummins engine in this, the hood's never opened or shut right, and it's probably jammed on one of the intercooler lines. I don't know right now. No, this is how you know it has a Cummins engine. What's that you see? Uh-oh, it's sweating horsepower. And yes, as you've seen in the thumbnail and the title, we are putting ginormous saw blades on this car as wheels because why not? That, and I want to see how much damage and what kind of stuff we can cut with them. And no, I'm not just doing one wheel, I'm doing all four. Aha, uh -huh, and you know your boy Buck is leaving on the wheel spacers. From the last video, where we put on these giant 35 inch truck tires and we went mudding. If you guys have not yet seen that video, just go ahead and check it out after this one. You'll like it. And speaking of the video where we put those big wheels and tires on this car, we broke some stuff and I just reminded myself and remembered I have to fix that before I can even go back to driving this with the new saw blade wheels. Passenger side tie rod is a clean, crisp snap and I kind of need that to drive this so instead of paying a ridiculous amount of money to fix it or have a shop fix it, because um, I've heard these are super extremely difficult, what I'm going to do is just push it back together um, and then I'm going to put a little tack weld on it and sleeve it and we'll just see if that will hold up. I'm pretty sure it will and I think it will be safe enough. So right here is what we'll be tossing on the Volkswagen the Cummins Beetle right now on the adapters. I have the exact bolt pattern for the car so this, oh, I got to be careful this is extremely sharp um, because you know they are saw blades, oh, ow, 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 and it is half inch solid still you guys look at how ridiculous and unreal this is i'm telling you your boy bug does not do anything other than a full sends on the channel this is going to definitely do some damage <laughs> oh my look at how freaking aggressive that looks way better looking than the wide wheels now in all my previous vehicles on this channel you guys can go back and look i've always had big wide wheel and tire setups and you guys are always like, oh, bug, wide wheels are pointless, and it's a pavement princess. You guys, you don't have to worry no more. I finally read enough of the hate comments, and you have transformed me into liking thinner, not so wide wheels. I'm sure these will be much, much better with off-roading, because duh, you don't off-road with wide wheels. And voila, we have all of the wheels finally off the Cummins Beetle, which means it is the time to put on the saw blades. I'm kind of thinking I should leave them like that somehow to give it some camber. What do you stance guys think? I wish I had a scale right now because I don't know what weighs more. A solid steel saw blade wheel that's 20 inches or you know a 20 inch or 35 inch tire. I don't know, what do you guys think weighs more? Yes, oh, that looks so freaking cool. You guys, this is why I love making super yo, random. Yo, 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 yo. That's not gonna be cool when you're going on the freeway and you kill some innocent family. I'm just like this video. Oh, I, I thought it was pretty cool looking, but 
Guess it's not the safest. Whatever, I'm sure it'll do fine on the freeway. I'm not sure. Are these wheels directional or non-directional? I don't know. And that is how you fix a broken tie rod without having to spend thousands of dollars on front end maintenance. Also, we got the last saw blade wheel on, which means it is time to start it up and see how it does. Very first thing, I mean obviously we're going to cut a ton of stuff, but we're just going to throw a, a cardboard Pepsi Cola box through it and see how it does. What do you think? First, second gear? Second gear, all, right. all the way. Let's go. I think neutral will work. Uh, neutral? Yeah. Make sure you stand clear because if this falls off, Okay, first. Yes. Alrighty everyone, we are back and we have, as you can see here, objects to cut. We have the water Malones. We have a plank, a piece of steel, a potato, an onion, Kyle's favorite drink, SpongeBob's home, and then last but most important, ocean water. I am beyond curious to see what this saw blade wheel can do to these different objects. I'm sure it'll go into the watermelon pretty good. Hopefully it'll cut the wood and the still. And then of course, the strongest thing out of this bunch is the Monster Energy can. Supposedly, if you drop one of these cans from outer space and it hits the ground at 385,000 miles per hour, it doesn't even dent the can. So it's gonna be a tough one to damage. You guys, go down right now and let me know, do you think the saw blade will actually cut through these objects? If so, what objects will it cut through and what objects will it not even be able to damage? I wanna see who's right, who's wrong. Alrighty, Alicia, out of all these objects, we have here, which do you think the saw blade wheel will actually be able to cut through? All of them. You think all of them? You don't think it's gonna have a struggle with any of those? I don't think it will cut through that one. That one right there? Yeah. That might be a tough one. We'll probably get some sparks going. It is go time. We have the forklift holding the bug up in the air because you know this is going to work like an actual saw. I'm pretty sure we'll get the RPMs going, that saw blade wheel spinning and then like a normal saw where it has the motion of dropping down, we will slowly let the forklift down onto the objects right below the saw blade and we will see what we can cut. And object number one, the watermelon. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I may have watermelon juice all over the side of the car, on the forklift, on Alicia, on the camera, but you guys, check this out. Clean in half, that is the most pristine cut I have ever seen. Alrighty guys, I really didn't want to do this, but SpongeBob has been not paying his rent, so we're gonna take his house from him. and dirt all over me, all went inside the car. 
Look at that mixture of watermelon, pineapple juice, and dirt covered all over the Tomy. All right, this goes out to all of the Kyles. Sorry, but I had to do it. I have crap all over it. Me, the camera, the forklift, the car. That just goes to show that the saw blade wheel can even unleash the beast. I'm super bummed about how dirty all of this is right now, so we're gonna clean it up with some water, all right? So, if it can cut, a monster energy can, if it can cut watermelons all the way into the earth's core. I already know it's gonna cut a potato. Play wheel. Next up is the wood block. Challenges are starting to get tougher here, ladies and gentlemen. Next up on the list, we have the piece of steel against a steel wheel. Hmm. Take two. Okay, so the steel, we got close. If you look right there, it almost pierced through. Again, if I could just get away to keep this stationary, I guess I'd, I don't know. I'm not sure how, but look how close we were. Really did not want to have to cut this because I knew I would just start crying. And I will never show my weakness to you guys and cry in front of you because of a stupid onion. So, So I'm going to be doing a quick giveaway. This is the emblem off the front of my car. You guys know this car is super famous. It's gone viral multiple times all over Instagram, all over YouTube. Everyone knows this beetle. And I want to give away something special to me from this car to one of you lucky winners. All you have to do is like and comment on the video and then send me a screenshot to my Instagram. It'll be placed right here. It's bug underscore BMX. I'm going to go through all of the messages and I'm going to pick one of your guys' screenshots and then I'm going to say, hey, you're winning this, I'm gonna throw it in an envelope and send it your way. So you guys, like, comment, screenshot, send to my Instagram, it's that easy and you'll have a piece of history. This, oh, my baby, it's on its last few legs. It doesn't have a lot of life left in it, you know, being 300,000 miles, they say the Cummins engines go forever, they don't. It's getting really tired, the clutch is getting super tired. So, should we, should we retire it? If so, this is my question for you guys and I really want you to Think about this real hard, consider it. One of my friends just bought this crane and he said, Bug, let's retire your beetle. I can take it up a hundred feet and we can quick release and drop it into this field. Yes, you guys, lift it up a hundred feet by a crane and drop it into the field and then see what freaking gets destroyed, what blows up, see if it'll even run or drive after. If you guys want to see that video, 25,000 likes on today's video we will get the crane down here, lift it up, and we will drop it from 100 feet, and we will retire the beetle. 25,000 likes, and you guys already know I will make it happen. Woohoo, man! Those are some really nice melons. Thanks. Well, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, everyone. I really do hope you enjoy. I wanna give a huge special thanks to Elite Fabrication. All of their info is gonna be up here on the screen. It would mean the world to me if you guys went to their Facebook page, checked it out, and just looked at some of the crazy stuff these guys build. And I've said it before, they are wizards. Huge shout out 
to them for plasma cutting these saw blades up because there is no way possible I would have been able to do that by freehand to where they actually would have cut stuff. So again, huge thanks to them. I don't know, I want you guys to give me your honest opinion. Should we retire it? Should I fix it up and keep the thing trucking? Or 25,000 likes on this video and we will drop it 100 feet from a crane and just see what happens. It, you know, it'll probably still live after that. This thing is undestructible. Hey, your boy bug is out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.